of all the people watching this right now, yeah. I'm going to guess there are maybe 100 or so aspiring designer founders, right? Okay. What would you just, what would you tell them to start doing right now? What would you tell them to stop doing? Oh, okay. So if you're thinking about becoming a designer You're aspiring. Founder. Yeah, exactly. Like you've got, you've, you feel like you've got like the sensibilities of being a designer founder. Yeah. You're willing to take some risk. What should I start doing? What should I stop doing? So one thing, start building up your your like sphere of skill sets beyond design. That that uh, it's almost like you know building a company is a problem space, yeah. right? So it's like if you're going to go into healthcare, you kind of want to know about all healthcare things. If you're going to go into company building, you want to start knowing about like what it takes to build a company, right? So like be real about what are the things. You know, we recently had a, a session. We we did a. A, a summit for design leaders called Source. Yeah. And at Source, uh, we partnered with Foundation Capital, who's been like a, a great supporter of ours, and Steve Vassallo, who's one of the original uh, you know, designers turned investors in the Valley, who's been one of our biggest champions. And we ran a, sen a session on future founders. And one of the things uh, we did in that session, we said, okay, uh, what are all the things you need to know to be a founder? Or what are all the things that a company does, right? And so people are like, HR, legal, uh, accounting, all these things, right? And there's like 35 of them. And I started looking around the room, and when I looked at the 35 things, I was like, okay, we're all designers here. There's probably three or four that we're really, really excited about. Like things that we like know, and we can do well, and we can apply like everything that we know to. There's probably another like seven or eight that we don't quite know, but we can apply design to do better. Right, so marketing, for example. If you approach marketing with a design lens and a problem solving lens, there's some interesting things you could do with marketing that are both quantitative and qualitative and that, that could produce great outcomes. But with legal, maybe that's like, as a designer founder, I'm not touching legal. <laughs> I, you know, I'm gonna know a little bit about it, but that's about it. I, I know enough that it's important, but that's it. And so it's important one to understand all the things Right? Like, what are all the components that a company has? What are all the things that are in your wheelhouse? What are all the things that are not in your wheelhouse yet that you want to grow in? So it's, it's books, it's meeting with people, it's growing your network. And then what are the you know, 10 to 15 areas where it's like, I'm not touching that, so my co-founder, you know, being a designer co-founder doesn't mean you have to be a, de a designer CEO, right? And so you can be a designer founder and focus on product and focus on you know, design design and have a co-founder who's really excited about the business aspect and the organizational aspect, but make sure that that person's there. And then if, there's a, if there are other components of that business that need to be figured out, make sure you have people who are excited about building those components. So that's what I would say to start doing. Um, the thing to stop doing, maybe, uh, I think you know one of the things you know if there's a, an Achilles heel for designer founders, it's maybe like they go too deep into design and kind of uh, narrow, narrow narrow their focus. And so, as designers, you know we love the blank sheet of paper, and I love the quiet and kind of like that time and space. And I think as a founder, you realize very quickly, like I don't have that. You know, you're not going to have a lot of that. Yeah. And so. It's starting to get comfortable with, you know, moving to the thirty thousand foot view. Yeah. Then, you know, maybe there's some times where you're move, moving, pushing pixels, and kind of giving that detail feedback. But you got to be zooming in and out mm -hmm. constantly. And so I would say, like, start uh, or stop if if you're going to be <laughs> moving into a founder's space. Like, hey, get comfortable with that, yeah. with 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 that motion, I guess. Yeah.